Mr. Kiran Kumar, Divisional Retail Sales at Timsukia Division of IOC, Indian Oil Corporation. So first of all, welcome to Dimapur today. Can we know about the benefits of uh, doorstep delivery of diesel of Indian oil? Okay. So thank you for asking this question. Uh, uh, we at Indian Oil have uh, started a new concept called uh, DDD, that is uh, Delivery at Doorsteps. That is uh, delivery fuel delivery at a customer door-to-door uh, -door -door delivery that TDD stands for. So it works in a sense that a customer can ask their HSD requirement. Okay, that is a diesel requirement. So through a mobile browser, it will be delivered at a customer premises. So today we have launched a second mobile browser in the state of Nagaland from uh, Faith Service Station, which is a well-reputed uh, retail outlet in uh, Dimapur. The dealers had earlier one own mobile browser, and this is the second one in uh, tie-up with Echo Fuels. They have started. So the, any customer requirement, having a requirement, bulk requirement of HSD, they can uh, indent with the dealer, and uh, fuel will be delivered at customer doorsteps. Yes, sir. Uh, can we also know about what uh, this XP95 petrol. So what and what are its benefits? Well, uh, <coughs> see conventionally uh, we have uh, two fuels. One is a uh, petrol and diesel. So petrol is normal. We call MS in uh, technical terms. So any petrol is, I mean, it's the same across everywhere. And it has been constantly, you know, remain unchanged. Unlike the technology is progressing. See, we had vehicles from BS1, 2, 3, now we have vehicles of engines of BS6. So the new age machines require new age fuels. So XP95 is a branded petrol from Indian oil. The significant difference is it has 95 octane. Octane is, the, you can say, the, the, the number of power of power, you can say. See, the normal petrol contains 91 numbers octane. Whereas XP95, that extra premium 95 of Indian oil, has a 95 number of octane. What it translates to, it is more refined fuel in terms of reduced fuel emissions. The carbon monoxide is reduced by 44%. And uh, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbon uh, emissions are reduced by 13%. And in the same way, the, it cleans the engine of the vehicle and keeps them know in a better condition the acceleration is improved by 13 percent and overall the mileage will improve by four percent so it is the new age fuel for the new age vehicles and customers should certainly patronize it and once you use it you will realize its benefits and advantages and what about this ethanol fuel see ethanol blended uh, uh, blending has been there in practice for uh, few uh, i mean uh, for last about uh, one or two decades even in our country so the objective is to reduce the burden on the exchequer because when the most of uh, you are aware that uh, we depend on, uh, you know, we import the crude, 70 to 80 percent of our requirement, fail requirement is we import and for which we need to pay a lot of foreign exchange. But whereas there is a lot of provision in inside when we blend, now the government vision is to blend up to 20 percent by in the next few coming years. So as of now, we started now uh, 8 to 10 percent of ethanol blending with petrol. So that will, to the effect of giving a benefit of you know, about 30,000 crores to the, in terms of foreign exchange, you know, exchange saving. And not only that, to that extent, we are saving the environment and also creating so much of uh, business opportunity within India. And so, and ethanol has a better, the octane number, having higher octane number, then again it will improve the you know, maintenance and mileage of the vehicles. So that way it is a win-win situation for the you know, statutory bodies, companies, consumers and everyone. So the customers need to patronize and uh, go for method, ethanol blending petrol. So, sir, uh, in Nagaland, uh, every now and then sometimes we come across fuel adulterations and all. Okay. So how safe is Indian oil? See, <coughs> now uh, the practices now, we have a standard operating practices to curtail any kind of malpractices. The fuel now is supplied from our uh, storage point, that is uh, supply locations. For example, in Nagaland, we have a depot in Dimapur. So from Dimapur, supplies are made to through different uh, tank trucks to the retail outlets. 
then dimapur will receive product from the refinery locations or further supply locations so when we say that when we supply from dimapur to a retail outlet to through tank trucks the tank lorries now there are two things that uh, primarily we you know uh, follow to curtail this kind of malpractices one is each tank truck is installed with a vehicle tracking system wherein the route the tt the truck should travel is mapped and tracked so any abnormal condition en route suppose if it is halting for more time or if it is deviated from the defined route then that is tracked and suitable action is initiated so that the truck is not deviated number 1 and number 2 is there is electronic locking system is imposed practiced implemented wherein once the lock is done the tire tank truck is locked at the depot that can be opened only through using an otp at the retail outlet in the sense when the out it reaches the petrol pump fuel station then there is a mechanism of getting an otp through mobile of the particular retail outlet authorized person so with that only the locks get open so there is no chance of pilferage or diversion of any chance so this is the been practices we are following to curtail any kind of uh, been incidences that you are citing so it is overall thing is called a sealed parcel delivery system in the sense there is no openness anywhere it is it is filled at the terminal sealed and it is only open the retail outlet thank you so much a pleasure